back to the yard. This is our second job of the day. It's about nine o'clock. Got back to the yard and we got loaded for nine yards. That's almost a full truck load. Usually a uh, full truck's 10 or 11 yards. So it looks like, uh, looks like it's gonna be a foundation, a pump job. So we'll get to the job site and back up to the pump. We'll dump all our concrete into the pump and the pump will take it up a big uh, boom like a crane and fill up, fill up the foundation forms. We're going to a neighborhood that we go to quite a bit. Uh, we finished up the first couple of phases in the development. So there's quite a few houses that are completely done. And then there's uh, two other phases that are sort of in between, uh, you know, bare nothing land and fully completed house. So in these developments, sometimes it's sort of hard to find the job site and move around because there's electricians, plumbers, insulation, roofing. I mean, every every stage of development, there's there's workers there and trucks and vehicles. So it can get a bit chaotic. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Usually the pump, especially if you're the second truck, the pump is already set up, so it's like a big antenna sticking up in the middle of the neighborhood. You just need to work your way to it all the way up. The dispatcher told me there was ice on one of these streets. I just didn't want to turn on that street. I could see that there wasn't room for me to get past the pump, so I have to back in all the way from here. But before I do that, I have to lift up my boosters and my pushers. And those are the extra axles on a truck. You got two axles in the middle and one axle in the back that flops down like that. And basically, without getting too far into it, you're only allowed a certain amount of weight per axle, legally. You can only drive on streets with a certain amount of weight per axle. So if you're really heavy and uh, if you're really heavy and it's too much weight for the three axles that you normally have on the ground, you have to put more axles down to distribute the weight a little more. <clears throat> But you can't back up with those things down. They, it doesn't work going in reverse, so you have to raise them up. So anytime you flip around, you have to raise up your extra axles. truck's gonna have room to get out if I back up farther than this so I'm just gonna hang out up here and wait for him to be done I'll go put my chute down and get it ready for the pump and I'll add water if I need to just so that when the other trucks done uh, we can just back up and go from there pressurize my water tank Put my chute down. Unlock it in case the pump driver needs to move it. And raise it up a little bit. Got a little control box right here. That should be enough. Yeah, 
pretty good. So I got a I got a slump meter right here. This basically tells you the consistency of your concrete. The lower the number, the wetter it is. So if it's a 1000 PSI, then it's it's pretty wet. If it's 2000 PSI, it's basically like beach sand. Yeah. 